built on the GAK variant of Toyota New Global Architecture TNGA, the new Harrier is slightly larger and lower than the previous generation. This gives the car a luxurious coupe look. Outstanding features include slim matrix LED headlamps, large grille, LED tail lights, stretching the rear end. In addition, the new Toyota Harrier has LED fog lights and 18-inch two-tone alloy wheels. In its first two generations, the Toyota Harrier was closely related to the Lexus RX, with the former being sold exclusively in Japan, because Toyota had yet to launch the Lexus brand in its home market. Meanwhile, the RX was for everyone else outside of Japan, and it found particular success in the United States, forming a lasting legacy that is proudly flaunted ever since. Even though the Harrier wasn't officially sold outside of Japan, at the time, it still proved to be popular, judging by the number of grey imports that made their way to overseas markets. This was despite the Harrier still remaining in its second generation when the third generation RX had already become a standalone model in 2008, which was bigger in size than before due to changing tastes, US consumers wanted bigger and bigger things. Compared to its predecessor, the new Harrier has a more striking appearance and attracted more than a few stares from onlookers during our time with it. Call it a case of pareidolia, but when looking at the SUV head-on, we got the sense that the designers took the whole bird of prey thing very seriously. Fun fact, the Harrier is actually named after the Eastern Marsh Harrier, also called the Chowi, that is native to Japan. Luxurious design interior, with saddle-inspired, diamond-shaped center console, leather surround, new dimmable panorama sunroof, digital rearview mirror, floating 8-inch, entertainment screen, like Toyota RAV4, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto Connection, HUD display screen, Qi wireless charging, reverse camera, 6-speaker audio, dual-zone air conditioning, with NanoX air purification system, push-button start, under the hood, there are 2.0-liter turbocharged, four-cylinder petrol engine with a 2.0-liter dynamic force power plant taking its place instead. The engine serves up 173 PS and 203 Newton meters of torque. These figures are less than the retired models 231 PS and 350 Newton meters. Drive continues to go to the front wheels, but there's now. Toyota's Direct Shift CVT, in place of the previous six-speed automatic. Compared to a regular CVT, the Toyota transmission features a launch gear to increase the efficiency of the belt-driven system. Thanks for watching. And give your comments below.